if you are disappointed right now, if you're really, really excited and something didn't work out, I just wanted to say that I'm so, so freaking proud of you. And you should be so proud of yourself because it takes guts. It takes what people don't understand is it takes so much courage to fall in love or go on a first date. It, it takes so much courage to get back to, into going to the gym, to go to physical therapy. It takes courage to go to the doctor and admit that something's wrong. And it takes courage to hear what it might be. It takes courage to show up and do treatment. And you know, it takes courage to like go apply for a new job. And you know, it takes, it takes so much courage to do so many things. And the reason it takes so much courage is because you have hope. And it's because there's the chance that it might not work out. And also, if you're disappointed, and I mean like you got disappointed, not like you live disappointed and you're always unhappy. Like if you got disappointed, do you know what that says about you? Like it makes you a particular type of person. And the kind of person it makes you is the kind of person that allows joy in their life, that allows goals, that allows creativity and vision for a better future. You're the type of person that will allow good in your life and allow this hope and joy at the risk of it, of it not working out at the risk of being disappointed, but you still tried and you're the kind of person that's not afraid to put yourself out there and you could, because you can, things can not like work out. You're going to fail. Like things are going to feel awkward and weird and you put yourself out there anyways. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. And sometimes you try a treatment, a new treatment and it doesn't work, but you, you were brave to do it. You were courageous to try. Like sometimes you get your heart broken or you get divorced or whatever, but you were so brave and you were so courageous to try. Like the people that get disappointed should be so freaking proud of themselves for the bravery and courage it took to get to that step. And the people that are, that get disappointed, what I also want to point out is Brene Brown. She's a researcher. She researches, you know, shame and love and all these vulnerability, and all these emotions, empathy. She's from Texas. Holla, Texas girl, another Texas girl. But uh, she says there's a difference between people who live disappointed and get disappointed. The people who live disappointed are the ones that are like, well, if I don't try, I can't fail. If I just expect everything to not work, if I expect people to be bad, if I accept, expect people to screw me over, if I expect to not get the job, if I expect the treatment not to work, if I expect the worst diagnose possible, then I can't get disappointed. But then you live disappointed and then you don't try and you don't have hope. And, and when you don't try new things or have hope or believe in a better future or believe in the good and believe in like other people and believe in yourself, then you block out all the joy. You block out all the good. Like, yeah, you don't get disappointed. Like you don't get your heart broken as often, but you live in a state of having a broken heart. You protect yourself from that, the shock and the disappointment, but you block out and you protect yourself from all the good stuff too. So if you're disappointed right now, if you've gotten disappointed because something didn't work out, I'm so freaking proud of you because you tried and that took a lot. That was hard. But I'm also proud of you because you're the type of person that won't give up and you're the type of person that has joy and ahead of them because you're the type of person that got disappointed, which means you already felt excitement. You already felt joy. You already felt all these blissful emotions and, you know, got your hopes up and, you know, got nervous and like put yourself out there and got vulnerable. So like your life is going to be awesome because that's the type of person you are. You're the type of person that gets disappointed, but you'll try again. And and life can be a roller coaster like that. And you're going to go through seasons that are like 2020, which are just like what it is. But there's always a new season ahead. There's always change ahead. And I'm proud of you for trying. And don't stop trying because you're not going to fail every time. And not everyone, everything's going to end up in disappointment. And I'm so happy for you that if you're still capable of getting disappointed, it still means you're open and capable of feeling joy and happiness and allowing love into your life. So that's what is ahead for you. Much love um, from Texas. Bye.